you know, Fib, everybody wants to know, is there a possibility of, of, of you, you know, actually your son, your son wants to sit down with you? No, he doesn't. See, Charlamagne, you would call me. You don't call TMZ to say you want to sit down. Mm. Think about it, man. Mm. You know, you want some attention. You know. And it's okay. You can have as much of that as you want. You know what it feels like to have nothing, all right? I had to rebuild my life over with 6700 a month. Marquise, I know you feel like that ain't a lot of money, but it's a lot of people here watching right now. It's Girls that's getting $200 a month, child. The sense of entitlement is never ending with celebrity children. Now recently, 50 Cent Son has been going on somewhat of a sympathy tour, appearing on TMZ and other platforms, basically bad his father, 50 Cent, complaining that 50's payment of $6,700 a month isn't enough for child support. Now not to mention, his son is a grown ass man, 26 years old, complaining about child support, which ended over eight years ago. We talk about celebrity kids growing up with everything they want and having the silver spoon, but this kid had the diamond spoon. Now the exchange relationship of 50 Cent and his son is something that went on to the media as the kid is just simply a spoiled brat who has had every tool to succeed in life but still hasn't done anything with his life. And now that his life is crash landing, he's trying to reach out for daddy's help. Now 50 Cent raised himself. He never met his father. His mother died in a fire when he was eight, allegedly set by a rival gang. So growing up in Queens, New York, nothing was sweet about Curtis 50 Cent Jackson. Nothing. The gangster persona, the beef for street dudes, beef on other artists in the industry such as Ja Rule, it was all real. See, the problem with his son is, Marquise is a cage lion. He's never had to hunt for anything. He's always been fed. He's never had no strategy to get anything because he's always been entitled and had everything. Now, I'm sure everyone watching this video right now knows that child support is meant to support the child. Now, many people felt offended that this spoiled brat tried to downplay $6,700 a month in New York City. The minimum wage in New York City is $13.20 an hour, which equates to 507 hours for $6,700. So unless this entitled one behind rat decides to get a job, he better shut his mouth. The only person he should be blaming in the situation is his mother. Her greed is what actually made him get $6,700, as she was getting $25,000 a month before. And 50 Cent actually put himself on child support. And let's be real, whenever you ever seen a man put himself on child support, it doesn't happen. We all know this. Marquise Jackson is truly his mother's child. Now, many times in this situation, it's very easy to take your mother's side, especially in the split because she usually has primary custody. But now that Marquise is 26 years old, 50 Cent is taking on a TV game, still controlling the rap game, and he's having a midlife crisis and now he wants to make amends with his dad. Blame your mother, kid. She was handling the finances. She's probably taking trips to Miami, trips to Jamaica. And then once her ass is 20 plus and realize you got no more funding, now it's everyone's problem. Now 50 Cent is the biggest savage and we all know this. He even went on to make a video to troll Marquise about him being a grown ass man, crying and begging for attention with Tony Ayo and Uncle Murda. I had to rebuild my life over with 6700 a month. Marquise, I know you feel like that. Oh, fuck. This is crazy. You're 25 years old. Why are you still talking about child support? I got a little year, but it was with me. That's why I took his mother to child support, because I just thought that she was supposed to get that much more than she wanted more. Have a baby. Have a baby. Look, look, say, look, you know I don't never ask for shit, man. But I was thinking. A nigga, a little extra sixty-seven hundred a month for the shit we've been doing. Yeah, I'm almost gonna fire up. Play too much. Now it's clear as day, Fifty Cent moved on and had another child, Sire, which just erased Marquise from existence to him. And Marquise says he's really hurt by it, man. It's like in the past, someone came at Fifty on Instagram saying, "You know, for a dad of three, you're so proud of one child and completely ignore the rest of them. That doesn't make you a good father. Let's hope this boy doesn't grow up like the others. You, as a father, must find a way to get in touch with the others." At BG Baxin, I only have one son. I was mentioned about the little guy. <laughs> what do you mean by that? I feel like Marquise is finally getting old enough to realize how bad his mother brainwashed him into hating his father, and now he's coming crawling back to him. And it's sad because 50 Cent wants absolutely nothing to do with him. And it's not like 50 didn't provide for him and play the father role. He gave his mother $80,000 a year in child support, which is his half, so her half better be matching that, which we definitely know it isn't, of course. Now, the reason 50 Cent will never forgive his son is because in the early 2000s, 50 Cent was shot nine times outside of his grandmother's house in Queens, and the person allegedly behind it was Supreme Griff, known as Preem. Now, Supreme had very heavy ties to Murder Inc., which contained Irv Gotti, and 50 Cent's biggest enemy at the time, Ja Rule, and still is. Now, the hit on 50's life was Murder for Hire, which thankfully was very unsuccessful, but man, 50's just a word because 
It's just that South Jamaica Queens in him, man. But while Fifty Cent was feuding with his own son on the internet, going back and forth and not seeing each other, Marquise's son went and took a picture with Supreme Junior, aka the person who had 50 Cent killed, which was unsuccessful, of course, his son. He went and took a picture with the guy who had his killed son. If that's not the most grimiest, disrespectful, unloyal thing a person could do, that is worth disowning your own son. I don't care anyone has to say about that. Now the photo hit social media, and once it did, there was no going back. Now imagine the son of a person who put a hit on you, put a bounty on your head, got you shot in the head, chest, legs, and almost put you six feet under in an early grave on Instagram, chilling and hanging out with your son. Now as a man, after you take a picture and flick up with the enemy, there's nothing that we can do to reconcile their relationship. The true sense of entitlement is at an all time high with this spoiled brat who's gone so far and he's so spoiled that he thought he'd be able to pay his own multi-millionaire father $6,700 to sit down with him. This is 50 Cent, nigga. Let's be realistic here. Now, 50 Cent's son's desperation is clear as day as he went out of his way to make a whole appreciation and apology post to his father, say that we want to talk with him and come to him as a man, as he actually leaked the conversation he had on Instagram with Supreme Son, Supreme Junior, and Supreme Son was not happy about the information that he put out, leaking their convo. I'm gonna tell you one time, bro. Marquise, you don't want this problem, bro. Delete that post off your page. You you leaking my number? You leak my number, bro? You got people calling my phone and calling me and texting me? Yo, you really on some fed, yo. You on some police shit, bro. And, and these people on the internet, it's not cool for somebody to post messages and, and, and DMs and stuff like that and, and screenshot them and record phone conversations. Bro, you on some police shit, bro. Take that post down, bro. As much as we want to see a good family ending with a family rekindles, this is not happening, man. Marquise crossed lines, his mom crossed lines, and 50 Cent has moved on, man. He's on to bigger and better things, and he got a new son who he truly loves 10 times more than he'll ever love Marquise. If you're interested in watching more videos, I'll tell you my but why Jared playlist above. Appreciate you for watching the video. Jared the Star, I'm gone.